local anesthetic consisting of a mixture of lidocaine and bupivacaine is carefully infiltrated, taking care to infiltrate both the skin and the deeper layers of the tissue. The anesthetic is fanned out to cover the area of the pacemaker pocket as well. The axillary vein is accessed with a gauge 18 needle parallel to the rib, slightly directed cephalad with a 60 to 70 degree angle. A negative pressure is applied on the syringe to alert one that the vein has been hit. Having done so, one stabilizes the needle. Its course is then visualized through fluoroscopy as position in the heart is confirmed. This fluoroscopy image confirms the anatomy of the axillary vein. Another view of the axillary vein axis is shown. This is for the second axis, which follows basically the same steps taken to in insert the first guide wire. These wires are then positioned in the inferior vena cava. This venogram confirms the anatomy of the axillary vein as it enters the superior vena cava. A second access is obtained using the same technique as previously described. A second guide wire is inserted through the needle and both guide wires are parked temporarily in the inferior vena, vena cava where they stay until further use.